In the glamorous world of private space flight, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser promised a sleek, reusable savior for the ISS. But after 20 years and over $1.7 billion in taxpayer cash, it's still earthbound. A cautionary tale of hype over hardware. Promises versus reality. Born from NASA's HL-20 in 2004, it dazzled with shuttle-like landings and cargo hauls. Billions poured in via CC Dev and CRS-2 contracts. Yet crew dreams crashed in 2014. Cargo pivoted. But Vulcan rocket woes and endless tweaks turned promise into perpetual postponement. The endless delays. Flash to 2013. Belly flop landing exposes gear flaws. 2017. Free flight? A minor win, but delays snowball. 2021 slips to 2023. Then 2024. And now 2026 as a lame free flyer demo. 1.3 billion obligated, yet uncertified propulsion and software scream incompetence. Sierra's private billions, mere window dressing for NASA's bailout. Impending demise. With ISS deorbit looming in 2030 and no missions guaranteed, Dream Chaser's tenacity feels like denial. Sierra pivots to stations, but this bird's clipped. Another SpaceX rival grounded by its own weight. Broader implications. Dream Chaser's flop warns innovation is in infinite delays. As private space chases stars, remember, taxpayers foot the bill for fallen dreams. Subscribe for more space content.